hello, live. You know, I see this word live, it's also live. Can you live? Can you live with this spark of light alive within you? And it's amazing when you uh, support your vision by wearing glasses. Um, this is Teresa Phelps Martin. In this very uh, sacred moment, coming to you in a virtual way from to bring you a yoga soul 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 flow class. Um, a practice, I should say. It's not really a class. It's a practice. So let's practice. What do you say? We have the change of season, which means we're going to really invoke this. Um, we're going to initiate the energy of air. Wow, it's really amazing having glasses on. Um, we're going to initiate the energy today. We're going to initiate this change and this deep, deep call. I tend to spend most of my time in contemplation. Um, contemplating usually the deeper and more esoteric energies. And that's just me. I'm not saying you need to or anything. Life can really get in the way of that. Um, but in the past few days of just really being present with this shift of energy, this knowing that here on this material plane, we just keep going on, right? It's Thursday. For some of us, we realize it's the day of Jupiter. It's the day wisdom comes through. And um, for me, though, I've been in this dance of like, what is my role as a householder? And what is my role as... Um, a soulful dweller, uh, the Bukti Mukti, as my um, meditation teacher taught me. And I'm not really good in the householder land, and I've been kind of catapulted into understanding that. So where are you in the journey? Are you in that um, ability to just clearly and easily be soulfully you? Does, has anybody ever noticed that play of words? that you can really be in the fullness and the richness of who you are. And if that means who you are is more of a householder, um, then beautiful. If who you are is more of a bottom dweller, <laughs> that you need to go into the deep depths of the waters, claim the treasure and bring it back to the surface, wonderful. Is who you are the ability to see the patterns and the details and the structure and bring forward justice, wonderful. Is who you are, the ability to cook an amazing meal and feed those you love, amazing. Is who you are, somebody who is wildly successful in knowing what their vision is and succeeding in the accomplishment and producing mass amounts of something, wonderful. What it is that you want to know is who you are and who you are in your relationship with the world. The idea of soulfully you is this idea of being able to close your eyes and see that there's an outer world that's in continuation, right? That the, the world continues to move forward. But as the world is moving forward, you go inward. And as you go inward, you go inward and you celebrate the occurrence of you. You move inward with a great reverence for the opportunity to go inward. And you go inward and you go inward into this land where there's, it's not magic, but maybe it is magic for you, where you go into this land and you step into the space of you and you can exhale that there's a comfort, that there's almost this dissolve of the boundaries that you know how to come home into that spark of your being and sit in that energy and marinate in it and drink from the nectar of the chalice and renew because you know that 
that within you is all things. Hi, Teresa Phelps Martin, going deep this morning. So this is what I bring to you. How do you go inward and find comfort? This is why I brought together this idea of yoga and astrology and um, counseling or coaching or however you want to label it or transformation is because it's a tool to help us see that all the cosmos are complain, contain everything and then in you, you contain all things. So I know it's very introspective, which is the initiatory energy of air. It is the emergence of how can we allow this Libra rising, which is yours truly, how can we allow this rising up of the energy that has set, okay? This ability to understand kind of the commotion that arises when our brain does deteriorate, when we start to move back into the darkness, when the veil between the day and the night starts to become very thin and we kind of lose our swords. And for most of us, that's when we go inward or in my case, come back outward. And how do we see the relationship of the outer world and the inner world? How do we see the relationship between the material and the spiritual? How do we see that really the idea of is integrating the two, not so much balance because I feel like we've um, messed up the word balance. Is that mean it's like even Stephen, fair and square for all beings everywhere. It's really about holding the space of the dance. How do you go inward? How do you step back outward? So the yoga that we're going to do today is this ability of movement, of breathing. It's going to be very meditative and very just movement oriented with the breath. It's Libra season. We want to be able to breathe the inhale as well as the exhale. That we don't just spend our time in the inhale or we don't just spend our time in the exhale. We feel the dance of the two to create the one. And so what we're gonna do today is really, because the, we have this uh, very fixed earth energy today, of very steady, a very present, a very Buddha-like, that we're gonna feel kind of the even Steven. It's called Sama Vritti. So the Sama is the even of the fluctuation. That the, the, we want the fluctuation. Okay, we want to feel the movement. We want to be able to be in the embodiment of recognizing this flow of energy of not so much stillness, but we can be still in our relationship of seeing how much it dances with us. So let's sit or lie down or stand. You determine what is the best way for you to begin and so we begin. And we begin with that highest light. We begin with the awareness of our richness, of our fullness, of our ability to be in this new dance. As your hands come together and your eyes close, honor your breath, the highest good, harm to none that we use this practice in a way to unite our material self, our physical self, with our soulful self. That we feel the vertical line of our soul and the horizontal line of our material realm. And we allow ourselves to come into that intersection of really integrating all things and reawakening to the union of ourselves, to the integration of all the parts, what is very certain and what is still a mystery. Three breaths here and just feel the energy of your breath, inhaling and exhaling. And as you're feeling into your breath, feel into your hips, into your belly, into your ribs, and your shoulders. And just come into the trunk of your being, your shoulders and your hips. 
come into that temple, that vessel that you get to experience this life in. Place a seed of the season, of this sort of ability to have the continuum of the dance, of the expansion and the contraction, of the great spanda, of great rhythm of our life, that we can trust in it more fully. That great reverence of showing up, of arriving, of choosing to embody, and then choosing to dance with the rhythm of your own heart. As you exhale, bow the head, fingers tip forward, palms open up. Pause here, three breaths. Of just honoring the receptivity. The recognition. And the regulation. And then opening your eyes, looking into the palms of your own two hands, feeling how just the light of renewal is changing and coming onto your hands and knees. And as you come onto your hands and knees, spread through your fingers, feel just the dome of your hands, the armpits. And as you inhale, open your heart. And as you open your heart, move the ribs around and then exhale. Feeling just that energy between your shoulders and your hips. And then inhaling, opening. Just three breaths here. Because we're in the place of creation, of emergence as we dissolve. I love it. This is like what brings me alive, you guys. And then exhale, round where we have two cycles in the one, right? Even if you think about the sun setting on one side of the earth, on one side of the equator, and the sun rising on the other, it happens at the same moment. And then inhale, come into a nice neutral spine. You're gonna bring your shoulders forward, elbows bend all the way to the earth, and come all the way to the ground. I really want you to release completely. Inhale, the shoulders shrug up to your ears. They draw onto your back. Cobra or upward dog. And then lift up through the belly. Exhale, all the way back, child's pose. Two more of those. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Inhale, come up onto your hands and knees. Shoulders come forward. Elbows bend all the way to the earth. Come all the way down. Inhale, feel the length through the sides of the body. Arm bones roll back. Shoulders hug the space behind the heart. Open the heart. Lift up, draw in through your core. Exhale, back child's pose. Once more. Inhale, rising all the way up. Shoulders come past the fingertips. Elbows are hugging in. Lift through the belly. Shoulders around the back. All the way down, all the way to the ground. Inhale, shoulders lift up, hug in, open the heart, and then lift all the way up and back, last child's pose. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. You're going to lean back, roll the spine up, hands come back behind you, shoulders to your back. Inhale, open the heart, turn your head to the right. Inhale, the head through the center, and exhale to the left. Inhale, come all the way through the center. You're going to come standing up on your knees, hands clasped behind you, shoulders to your back. Open the heart, full breath in, and a full breath out. Then inhale, come up, hands come to the earth, tuck the toes. You're standing at the back edge of your mat, standing forward bend. Inhale, finally, open the heart, exhale, bow down. Three more times, inhale. Find length, exhale, bow. Using your breath, just feeling the connection to the evenness of the breath. Bend the knees, chin to your chest, roll the spine up. Inhale the arms overhead, big, full, gracious breath in. Exhale, hands straight through the midline. Three breaths here. Inhale, arms wide. And exhale through the midline.
Inhale, arms go wide. And exhale all the way down to the earth. Knees come to the earth. Feet um, tuck. Hands lean back. Push through the fingertips. Inhale, open the heart. Look to the left. Inhale, the head through the center. Look to the right. Inhale through the center. So you're going to push into the ground. Draw into the belly. Lift up. Hands clasp. Switch the clasp. Heart opens. Full inhale in. Full exhale out. Inhale, lift from the energy behind you. Hands to the earth. Toes tuck. Come into that standing forward bend. Inhale, finally. Finding that rhythm. Okay? So feeling the dance. The rhythm means you feel the ups and downs, right? If you ever played the piano and you had one of those things helping you find the rhythm, find the count, that's your breath. Exhale down. Knees bend to, to the chest. You're pulling into the core. You're really feeling the fixed energy of your muscles hugging to the bones. Inhale. You're aware of that space between the hips and the shoulders so that you can come into the fullness of yourself. Straight through the midline, feeling that connection to your center because if you can't find your center, then there's no way you can live soulfully. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, hinge of the hips all the way back down to the earth. You come to the earth, knees to the ground. You can keep your toes tucked or untuck them. Sit back, hands back, draw into the belly. Inhale, open the heart. Look to one side. Inhale through the center, look to the other. Inhale back through the center, rise up, feel that lift. Hands come back behind you. Hook the thumbs this time, elbows bend, shoulders drawn to the back, inhale, open the heart. Rise up, feel that energy from behind, hands to the earth, toes tuck. Standing forward, bend all the way to the back of the mat. Push into the earth, inhale, finally. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, finally. Exhale, bow. Inhale, finally. And exhale, bow. Bend your knees to, to your chest. Roll the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, arms overhead three times, straight through the midline. So notice how you know that we've done this three times, so we're coming to the end. So what energy of you do you want to carry with you as we slowly create closure and begin again? The knees come all the way to the ground. Sit back onto your heels. Inhale, left arm lifts up, okay? Left arm lifts up, and you're just going to exhale, circle the arm down. You can do this standing on your knees if it's too much on the earth. Lean to the left, inhale the right arm up, circle the arm down. Inhale, come back onto your hands and knees. Shoulders come forward, lift through the belly. My feet are lifting so I can really keep the connection to my core. All the way to the earth. Feet move back, hands move back. Inhale. Now, as you inhale, you're going to move your arms wide, okay? As your arms go wide, you're going to exhale, soften down. Keep the shoulder blades lifted. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, soften down. Yes, my feet are off the ground. Soften the heart. Shoulders are drawing in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, rise. Hands come under your shoulders. Knees push to the earth. Lift all the way up, all the way back. Downward dog. Full breath in and a full breath out. You're going to bend the knees so that your heels roll over to the right. Push into that right hand. Draw into the belly. Just come onto your left fingertips. Peek under the left arm. Inhale through the center. Left hand grounds down. So my left knees bent. My right heels push to the floor. Draw into the belly. Lift up your right fingers and breathe. Inhale, come all the way back through the center. 
Knees to the earth, toes tucked or untucked. Hands reach back, lean to the left first. And the right arm's gonna sweep forward this time. Open the heart, inhale up through the center. Right hand comes down, left hand moves across the front body. I know I'm changing it a little bit. And then inhale, shoulders drawn to the back, open up. Inhale, come back through the center. Hands come forward, shoulders come forward, lift through the belly, okay? Pulling the knees in, so you're really connected to the hips and the shoulders. That's where the fullness of you comes from. Feet move back, hands sweep back. So thighs are lifting, you're lifting through here, you're lifting from your inner thighs. They're pulling up and into the belly, into the heart. Arms go wide, exhale, soften the heart. Inhale, feel that lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, find lift. And exhale, soften. I think this is three. Inhale, lift. Hands come under shoulders. Shoulders, heart still lifted. Pull into the belly. Feel yourself growing up out of the ground. Toes tuck. Downward dog. Pivot. So right heel comes down, left knee bends. You're staying lifted through that whole left side line. Come on to the fingertips of that right hand. Look under the right shoulder. Right hand grounds, inhale through the center. Left heel comes down, draw into the belly. Come into your left fingers. Come all the way back to the center, hands ground. Knees to the earth, toes tucked or untucked. Inhale, left arm lifts up, reach over. Arm circles down. Inhale, right arm lifts up. Reach over, arm circles down. Inhale, come up, hands and knees all the way forward to the ground. Feet move back. Inhale, so you lift up Shalabhasana and then the arms go wide. You gotta adjust the arms, shoulders drawn to the back, and then exhale, soften down. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale, softening down. Inhale, lifting. Once more, exhale, soften down. Then you inhale, you feel that lift. Hands come under your shoulders, knees grab down. You're rising up off the earth. Tuck the toes, downward dog. Push into that right hand, claw to the earth. Be steady in that arm. Now you get to the side. You can come into full side plank for three breaths or just be in that prep version, right? Of coming here. Hand to the earth. Draw to the belly, to the other side, right? So just coming here is gonna teach you how to find it or come all the way in to the pose. Exhale, both hands to the earth, downward dog, and walk. Little steps, breathing every step out of the way. Both feet are grounded, exhale back. Inhale, find length, pause, ground into the earth, hug the outer hips in, arms go out to the sides. That same thing we were doing, shoulders are drawing into the back. Inhale, rise all the way up. Now the arms are out on the horizon. Shoulders are drawing in, hearts lifting, full breath in, full breath out. Inhale the arms up overhead, hands come together, find the length, hips stay square, you're just gonna twist to the right. Inhale, come back through the center, and then twist to the left, super slow motion, okay? Inhale, come back through the center, Exhale, bend, left elbow to the left knee. Find that length, anchor the tail, open through the heart. 
Inhale all the way back up to the center. Connecting to the center, feel the fullness of you, and we're also just cleansing, right? Clearing out, supporting that nervous system. Push into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, all the way down to the earth. Hands to the ground. Inhale, finally. Exhale, bow. Feet push into the earth. Arms go wide. Right, so you're sweeping the elbows up, shoulders to the back, hug the outer hips. Inhale all the way up. Arms overhead, nice and firm to the midline. Twist to the left. Inhale through the center, twist to the right. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, knees bend, right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, find the length. Ground down, push to the earth. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the knees, left elbow, right knee. Look all the way over the shoulder. Push into the earth. Inhale, rise all the way up. Find the center, feel the fullness within. Arms wide, exhale, bow. So you're connecting to that warmth through the movement. Inhale, find length. Exhale, bow down. Last round, arms go wide. Shoulders drawn to the back. So feel the integration of it all. The coming home to you, drawing in, twist one direction, inhale back through the center, and then twist the other direction. Inhale, come all the way back through. Find the length, exhale, bend and twist. Go to whichever side in, instinctually you want to go. Inhale, come back through the center. Shoulders are staying on the back. Exhale the other way. <sighs> Inhale, rise all the way up. And I love it when the light pours in as I teach. Exhale, bow. Inhale, find length. Exhale, folding forward. Bend the knees, step all the way back. Downward facing dog. Feel the connection into the back body. Arm bones are lifted, ribs are drawing in. Hug into that midline. Inhale, plank. So you're gonna go either all the way to the ground and then cobra, or you're gonna go chaturanga, upward dog. I can't believe I can do that just then. Draw into the belly, really move into the back body. Downward dog. Two more times, inhale, plank. Right, maybe knees come down. Chaturanga, open the heart. Moving all the way back. Find an evenness with the breath. Sama Vritti, nice, smooth, even breath. Oh yeah. Inhale, right leg lifts. You're gonna bend your knee. Draw your knee out to the side, forward, and then into the midline. Inhale, the leg goes up. Hip opens. Draw the knee out to the side, forward, and then through the midline. Out to the side, forward, through the midline. Stay steady here. Inner thigh lifts, and then exhale, knee to the wrist. Hips roll over. Bring the right knee with you. Both hips to the ground. Big inhale. Find the length and then bow. Hands go wide. Bow into whatever seated forward bend you have access to. Push the legs into the earth. Inhale, rise up. Right hand, pivot, okay? So grab the energy of your foot and push it into the earth. I don't think I've ever given that cue before. But really feel the power of your, the solidity of your leg. Push it into the earth. You're gonna inhale, lift up. If you can, pick the right knee up. And then exhale, move it back. Downward dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Ground into the hands, strong through the arms. Inhale, left leg lifts, 
bend the knee, open the hip up. And then the knee goes out to the side and then comes forward through the midline and then lift through the inseams, lift through that inner leg. Leg lifts, knee goes out to the side, pulls forward, sweeps through. And then the last one sweeps through, so the hip stays square, opening up, exhale, knee comes to the wrist, right? So it's like you're doing pigeon, but you roll all the way over. You gotta unravel the leg, knee comes up if it needs to, feet come in, find the length, arms go wide, and bow. Ground into the earth, push into the earth, you're gonna inhale, come up, right? So you feel that movement, you feel that fullness into the back body. Check in with the right leg, bend the knee, turn the foot in, right? So you're gonna ground the left hand appropriately. The shoulder's drawing into the back, the ribs are drawing in. You push into that, pick the knee up, so you're in this little funky side plank, hand comes to the ground, Spin it around, downward dog. Yeah, you get to do that a few more times. Isn't that fun? So connect to that center. Feel your breath. Oh, sure, why not? Inhale, plank, three times. Exhale, and inhale. I'm not gonna talk the next two because you know what to do. Inhale, right leg lifts, knee bends. This time you're gonna go forward. Knee comes into the heart, going in the opposite direction, circle it around. This probably feels way more familiar to you. This time you're gonna lift the leg up, hip opens up. Inhale, square it off, knee to your wrist. So you find the pigeon. We're gonna twist a little bit away from the back leg, draw into the belly, and then come back through, spin all the way around. I'm gonna add on. Right foot comes up, crosses over, twist. Bring both hands together, elbows are wide, shoulders are drawing in, look over your left shoulder, okay? Inhale, come back through the center, hand grounds down, foot comes back through, find the lift, and then bow. We're moving into forward bend season. Anybody notice that? Exhale out completely. Right arm reaches out, adjust the left foot. Push into the earth so that you feel, wow, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So push into the earth. This is what it takes to be fully yourself. It doesn't mean you're always happy. Now, knee can lift up arm, or you can go more into the uh, rock star, what I call it. Exhale, hand to the ground. Downward dog. I want to call it rock star because that's how I learned it. <sighs> Inhale, left leg lifts. Knee bends, hip open. So you find that center. You find the space between your shoulders and your hips. You stay connected to the back body. And then knee comes forward. Move it out to the side and around. And then you're going to bring the knee all the way forward. Pigeon. Legs ground. And then you just feel a little bit of a twist. Just getting actually into the psoas of the hips. And then roll over, unravel the leg, knee lifts up, comes with you. Both hips come back to the ground, hook the elbow, arms go wide, draw in, find the link, but look over the right shoulder. Inhale, 
breath, come back through the center. Knee opens up, both hips are grounded, fill into the back body, and then bow, hands go wide. Ground into the earth, inhale, rise up, left hand reaches out, right knee bends. Draw in, so make sure the arm bone's plugging in. I guess I'm saying that over and over again for myself, but you too. Push into the earth, lift up, check in. Can you stretch the foot out? And then exhale, hand to the ground, all the way back, downward dog. So three rounds, right? Rather you be in sync with your breath than perform a pose. Last one. Okay, here we are. Find your dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. You're going to bend the knee. And then the knee sweeps out to the side, comes forward, circles through the midline, feeling that lift, and then moving it around. Leg lifts, sweeps forward, knee comes to your wrist, knees ground down, find the length. Inhale the arms wide. Oh, I forgot that earlier, didn't I? Inhale, arms wide, shoulders to your back. Open the heart. And then exhale, hands come to the earth and just rotate. Twist or no twist. Knee crosses over this time, bow. Or do the twist, okay? Exhale out completely. Inhale, come all the way up. Knee comes to the center. Both hips. So by the way, you may need to stay here. And that's beautiful. Inhale, rise up. Right hand, bend the left knee. So you can go into that rock star or fallen triangle pose or push in. You can also come here into just this little side table. Full renewing breath in and a full renewing breath out. Then hands to the earth, downward facing dog. And so we don't lose the playfulness, right? We stay steady, we feel the rhythm, we connect into the way we can be more of ourselves. Be in the connection to our center. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Feel like pull the ribs in, fill up the back body, arms hug in. Knee goes out to the side, so even I wanted to stay with the pattern. Pull through the center and lift up. And then as you circle it around, Find that lift, knee to your wrist, pigeon. So you've got to land, then draw in, right? As you land and draw in, then feel the lift. Rise up, arms go wide. Maybe. Hands to the earth, pivot, right? Do you come and do the twist? Or do you cross the leg all the way over, find the length and then bow?
You have to be yourself. So you meet yourself where you are. Inhale, rise. Yes, I'm aware that I chose five breaths. <laughs> In that moment, you might have already come up. Hips are grounded, drawn to the core, hands come back behind you. So when I was first learning yoga, I all, I, this is how I moved all the time. If anybody did yoga with me back in 2003, you know this is what I brought forward. And then I was told that seated poses are too hard for most people to do, so I stopped. And then stop being myself. I gained a lot of wisdom, don't get me wrong. So many tools, so many techniques. It was really important. But now we're in this time in our life. So here you are, inhale, rise up. Find your position. And then feel, what is it that you need? If you ever get caught, it's usually because you shorten the side body. And then the hand comes to the earth, downward facing dog. Slowly walk. Oh, we need three planks, don't we? Yep. Inhale, plank. Is this the fourth? This is the fourth. Come all the way down. How about that? Sorry. Bend both knees, hands for your feet, shoulders to your back. Inhale, rise up. Don't you rest enough. Three breaths. Exhale, bow. Hands under your shoulders, lift up, downward dog. Inhale, plank. All the way to the ground. Consciously bend both knees. Slide your hands so you're holding, you're in an external rotation if you can. Inhale, Tony Rasana. Exhale, bow. Hands under your shoulders. Push up. All the way back. Inhale, last one. Right? When you're mindful, you're conscious. When you're mindful, you are being so fully yourself. And as you can be in that truth of who you are, and be real with yourself, it's powerful. Let your hands go where they need to be. This time we're gonna exhale, bow and pillow all the way to the ground. Inhale, bring the gaze back to the center. Hands under your shoulders. Push all the way up. Last downward dog, for real. Walk your feet forward, step by step. Come to the middle of the mat. Walk your hands back, bow. Push into the earth, inhale, come standing, arms are wide, palms are up, shoulders are drawing to the back. Stand in that fullness, with receptivity, with strength, with resilience, with that ability that you've re recognized and recalibrated. Inhale, what do you want to rise into? Arms go overhead. Hands 
hands to your heart. Come back to that samastihi, the samavritti pranayam, where you're just allowing for an even fluctuation in the breath. Smile inwardly, the connection to yourself. It's like the, the best part of yoga. It's like, hey, it's pretty good around here. Uh, most of the time, right? Sometimes we do yoga and we don't like what we discover. Head bows down, palms turn up, open looking into your own two hands. Release the hands, however you like. I'm not gonna do any kind of creative move. You're just gonna come all the way seated. Right, because really we, we recognize the energy. I'm burning up. We recognize the energy. Um, I love it. My room is 70 degrees and I'm burning up. This is probably my favorite temperature, as long as the sun's shining. As you come into that seat, right, and just notice, notice what you're noticing, right? I notice it's really warm on the inside. I was aware that I love the light. I love um, the fragrance in the air. I also love that my clothes are all over the place. You're going to sit in a way that's most comfortable for you because we're going to go straight from this meditation into Shavasana. Peace fingers. You have the right finger and the left finger. Bridge of the nose. Right? If you want to be more in the Vishnu Mudra, peace fingers point down, other fingers point up, go for that. I personally like my system feeling supported because I lean forward, so it's just that reminder to find the length. I'm going to guide you through one round. We're going to go through eight rounds. Inhale all the way in, exhale all the way out. Just pinch the top of your nose. It's above the nose crease. You're just closing off the nasal passage. Exhale through the left. Inhale in through the left. Close off the navel, nasal passage on the left. Open the right, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right off, exhale through the left. That's one round. You're gonna go through um, the next seven on your own. You can also just let go and come back to that sama vritti pranayam, right? Where you just work with an evenness of your inhale and your exhale. They're all gonna help your nervous system. yourself to just come after that exhale on the left. Just come into that seat.
Enjoy the gifts your inner world is bestowing you. for guidance if you need the guidance. Receive the guidance if it's available to you. And if anything, just celebrate that you arrived. Don't try so hard to make something happen, but rather be, be with the spark of your being. Be in that fullness that is so you. Be in the realness, the truth. Big deep breath in and a deep breath out. your head to bow and you're just going to slowly dissolve into Shavasana. Just a, a moment where you come to the earth. You don't deny the ending. You don't get up and walk away right now. You pause. You honor the pause. This is, this is where the potency of your practice resides, you all. This is where we marinate in our efforts and receive deeply our choice to be here. Just as you are, enjoy a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Honor all that's being restored within. And as you reawaken, reawaken with a smile, wiggle your toes and your fingers. If you need a longer Shavasana, you get to take it. You're in charge of you. You know what to do, especially when you've taken the time to connect with your innermost self, to come back to your truth. Inhale the arms back behind you. Reach the hands in one direction, the feet in the other. You're gonna roll over to one side. Pause and breathe. Exhale, help completely. 
Inhale, come all the way up into the comfort of your own seat. Sit into that wellness of your being. All that you've invoked within, all that's emerged, hopefully in the, the joy of yoga is that in the union that a lot emerges, right? Our age, our aches, our pains, our discomforts, our confusion, and our ability, our resilience, our resonance, our recognition of our own rhythm, the rapport we've created within, the coherence, all of that is stronger and more benevolent than the pains and the weakness. We show up for healing. We show up for a new beginning. And we come forward into this moment with that wisdom to guide us as we step forward. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Ah, thank you for being here. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for filling this uh, space up with the light. I thank you for m mostly showing up for yourself. I thank those of you who find benefit from this and have taken those easy steps. The hardest part is just getting on my computer, going to my website, TeresaPhelpsMartin.com slash yoga. Going down, you can drop in for $10. You can be a Lunar member for $22. There's solar memberships there too if you want $77, but I haven't built that out yet. It's coming, um, so please. It's easy, and those of you who have, it really is this surprise offering when I get the email of um, this offering being received, right? It's just like if you make a comment. It's a surprise moment from the universe saying, thank you, carry on. And the only way I can continue to carry on is if there's this two way. I love to take care. I'm always going to find a way to take care, but recognizing it's also me caring for you by asking for you to join, to contribute, to be a contributor, however you like, and I'll keep showing up no matter what. So a like, a subscribe, um, six months of $22 is less than $150. And I guarantee you spend more of that on beer and wine and coffee <laughs> or even Whole Foods. So thank you for considering what you're investing in. Um, it's going to be a really sweet, um, a really sweet season. It's a season where we're going to really be asked to awaken and recognize the subtleties. So, from my heart to yours, be real, be true, be soulfully you. I will be here on Tuesday, again, live at 9.30, or you know I'll show up with recordings in the YouTube land, or just with posts here in the Soulfully You Facebook group. Ciao.